In today's video, we will take you to the vast space outside the planet Earth with China's most advanced space technologies. The country has achieved a great deal when it comes to space program and exploration. From returning moon samples to Earth, to starting the assembly of a space station for manned space missions using China's advanced space technologies. Now before we get started, be sure to subscribe, press the bell icon and like the video to support our channel. So without further delay, let's begin our story for today. Take a look at this Shenzhou-14 manned mission for China's space station. This is the launch site in northwest China and brings a closer look at the only launch pad for manned missions in China. Shenzhou-14 is a Chinese space flight that launched the flight that marks the 9th crewed space flight and the 14th flight of the Shenzhou program. The Shenzhou-14 mission will build the space station into a national space laboratory. Here is China's flagship space telescope, the Chunqian, which means Survey of the Heavens. This can show a deeper, wider, and more accurate view of the universe than the Hubble, according to the Changchun Institute of Optics, Fine Mechanics, and Physics. The telescope consists of 30 detectors and each of which is bigger than the Hubble's single detector. Here is the Long March 5B carrier rocket, which launches China's space station lab module Winchen. This is the country's strongest low orbital carrier rocket with the largest payload capacity and has been mainly used to launch the modules of the space station. The rocket, which is especially developed for low orbital launch based on the Long March 5 rocket, has a payload capacity of 25 tons in low Earth orbit and 14 tons in geostationary orbit. The China Manned Space Agency released an 8K ultra high definition video of some of the highlights of the Shenzhou 13 space mission. Chinese astronauts recorded the video aboard the Shenzhou-13 crewed spaceship during the six-month space station mission. China plans to send another crew of three astronauts to the Tianhe core module with the Shenzhou-14 crewed spacecraft for another six-month mission. Here is a small mechanical armed robot mounted on China's Wind Chan Lab module, 
that has passed an on-orbit test. It is quite flexible and can perform operations with greater precision. With the support of ground personnel, the small robotic arm successfully completed a series of in-orbit function and performance tests. Now let's take a look at how spaceship docking is done. China's Zhengzhou 12 spaceship with three astronauts aboard docked with Tianhe, the core module of the country's space station. China's cargo spacecraft Tianzhou-3 separated from the country's space station core module Tianhe and redocked with the module. Tianzhou-3 detached from the rear docking port of Tianhe. China's Shenzhou-14 spaceship with three astronauts aboard has docked with Tianhe, the core module of the country's space station. That's all for now. I hope you found this video wonderful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.